Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. We are heading towards episode 450. Just so you know, episode 450, which is not really the 450th episode, there's been a lot of supplemental episodes and things like that, but numbered episode 450 is coming up, and I want to give you a sense that what we're going to be looking at in the near future is going to be some Japanese laser discs. Uh, I have recently replaced the uh, copy I had of the Return of the Jedi Special Collection Laserdisc with one that now has an OB, so I can show you that very briefly in some future episode. But I also have a lot of making of specials that are either in my hands or on their way to me uh, from purchases either from Japan or from US sellers who have these Japanese copies to show you Japanese Laserdiscs that I've been eyeing for years but never did wind up grabbing. And at least some of those are going to wind up being featured in episode 450, which to me makes it a little special because here we are in this weird drought with not a lot of new Star Wars home video releases. We get a chance to check out something I find pretty cool in episode 450. Um, before that, though, we have two episodes to go before we hit that milestone. 448, which is this episode, 449, who knows what that's going to be on, before we hit 450 and hit some Japanese laser discs. We may hit some of those in 449, I don't know. What we're looking at this time is kind of a unique item there's not a lot to it, but it is kind of a cool little thing. It's one of those little weird things I've managed to get into my collection thanks to another collector. In this case, John Baldwin over in not the Star Wars Home Video Group on Facebook, but the Star Wars Original Trilogy Media Group over on Facebook. So there are a couple of different groups that do a lot of this stuff. That group is more any kind of media related just to the original trilogy, whereas a Star Wars Home Video Group is any Star Wars Home Video, but specific to home video, not things like soundtracks and whatnot. And what I managed to acquire from him is something that he uh, happened to have in his collection that he sent over uh, to me that I could add into mine uh, for a very reasonable price, I must say, is an item that is similar to a preview cassette that we saw here previously. And we had seen a preview cassette basically of the 1995 trailer for the THX Remastered Edition that would just play on a loop in American video stores ad nauseum to kind of get people interested in it while they were in the video store, the blockbuster, Hollywood video, whatever it might be. Well, in the UK, there was a similar type of thing helping to hype up the 2004 DVD release of the original trilogy, which of course over there was either on uh, widescreen DVD for the wide release in silver packaging or still on widescreen DVD but in gold packaging as an exclusive to HMV. We've looked at those quite a bit before in various uh, variations of whatnot. Um, but there was actually a trailer for it that runs about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. You can find it online on YouTube. Look up Original Trilogy 2004 trailer and just look for the one that is 3 minutes and 50 seconds long. You'll find it up there a couple of times. Um, but that was put onto a VHS as well, in this case PAL, not NTSC, to play on a loop in video stores in the UK to promote it. That is this. Pretty plain packaging here, a little smudgy. Plain case here, very generic. Nothing on the top. All it has there on the side is Star Wars Trilogy Trailer Loop VHS Date of Issue 2708. 2004. And you might say, well, wait a second, that, that can't be right. There aren't 27 months in a year. It's fa- Oh, UK. Day, then month, then year. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, August 27, 2004, to pop into a player to run on a loop at a video store. Now, if you're curious how many loops there is, because that's really the only other thing to be curious about when it comes to this, right? We know it's 3 minutes and 50 seconds. We know which trailer it is. You can look it up online. All it has is the one label. It is PAL instead of NTSC, which is interesting. Um, it starts out with 25 blank seconds, and then it starts playing the trailer. Again, one run of the trailer is about 3 minutes and 50 seconds. It runs in total before you run out of loops of playing the same thing an entire hour and 32 minutes and approximately 42 seconds, which means if I did the math right, that's about 24 loops of the same trailer over and over and over and over again. Um, but you get about an hour and a half out of that at your video store, right? So if your video store is open, I don't know, a lot of times it was like 10 to 10 or 10 to midnight or whatever, you know, put this in on a loop, you'd only lose a little bit of time in the middle when somebody would have to rewind it or let it go into sort of a black screen or a blank screen to eventually hit the end, auto rewind and replay. Uh, yes, kids, VHS had to be rewound and fast forward. You couldn't just skip to chapters or anything. Um, but yeah, you just sit there on a loop and in, you know, a typical day, you'll probably go through the loop several times, right? 
But by having it have, you know, like an hour and a half worth of loops, it wouldn't be quite as bad as trying to do it on something where maybe there was less tape in the cassette and maybe they ran, you know, just like a five minute, 10 minute, 20 minute, half an hour type of loop because that would wear the tape out more quickly um, by having it run over and over again. So kind of a cool little thing. Again, nothing really to speak about other than just what the trailer is, how many loops it is and that sort of thing. But a cool little addition that just goes again to show that sometimes you can find weird little items coming out of various places like video stores um, or Frito-Lay or Pizza Hut and some other places we've looked at before uh, if you're looking for oddball items to include in a Star Wars home video library. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thanks to John again, and thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers.